Hey, it's Antos Gaming here, and for today's video, I have something special for you guys. I will be giving you 10 awesome tips and tricks for Last Oasis. I really hope that you learn from these tricks and apply it to your daily gameplay. These tricks are good for PvE and for PvP. If you enjoy Last Oasis and you want to see me make more content, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, as I am trying to hit my first thousand subscribers. But without further ado, enjoy the video. Let's not waste any time and get straight into the tips and tricks. How annoying is it when you have to travel through multiple servers to get to your final destination and each time you need to clear the sand out of your gears. This is not the most fun thing to do in my opinion, but don't worry. Clearing sand from your gears has never been easier before. The only thing you need to do is locate a place where there is water, go towards it and drive through it with your walker. This will clear the sand out in a matter of seconds and voila, just like that, you can be on your way to your final destination. Not many people know this, but you can actually hit your enemy while being grappled to something and swinging in midair. There are many people out there who believe they are tree monkeys and spend their time running or swinging on your walker swings. Well now you can swing at them and whack them in the face, which will for sure get them down to the ground. You simply must have a one-handed weapon equipped and there you are, ready to swing away at your enemy. Obviously this does not work with two-handed weapons because well, you can't grapple and swing with both your hands, which is kinda self-explanatory. This is actually a pretty neat trick to be honest, but very very hard to execute, well at least, and consistently. It will for sure take some practicing and I would recommend maybe practicing it while you are not actually in a PvP combat. So take your time practicing it and when you have perfected it you can bring it towards the battleground. So basically there are two ways you can heal while in midair. The first way is to swing really really high up with your grapple, release and pop a bandage. And when you have used your bandage you can re-grapple to a tree before obviously falling to the ground. Otherwise the bandage would have been useful, useless. The only way you can successfully do this is to get up really high into the air. So I would recommend swinging along a few trees and get enough elevation to get really high so you can pop a bandage. The second way is a little more tricky and a bit more difficult in my opinion. Basically when you're swinging from tree to tree you can activate the bandage. But this is actually super hard and this is something you'll have to master at your own time. So basically your timing has to be exquisite, you basically must apply the bandage and grapple to a tree at the same exact time. This will allow you to apply a bandage and stay grappled to the tree. This is actually really good in hot pvp moments when you are low life. So next time you are fighting someone and you are really low, try to apply this and just swing into a tree, pop a bandage at the same time, come back to the ground and surprise your opponent that you are back to full hp. This is a trick I found out recently at random. So basically when you are piloting a walker, you can simply open your inventory and double click on the torque in your torque battery and it will send it directly towards your walker's inventory. This is honestly a pretty neat trick to do when you are being chased by enemies. Rather than wasting time and releasing the steering lever and going towards the inventory manually, and maybe losing momentum or focus on when you are driving away from your enemy, you can simply use this method. Or you could also put your walker into auto run by pressing H and then going to your walker's inventory manually. But since I found out this little neat trick, I just do it from my inventory straight away. It's a lot easier and convenient. Logging out your walker in Last Oasis is a big pain in the ass, especially having to wait 2 full minutes, not taking any contact from other walkers or not taking any damage or the timer will restart. But there is a way to do it a lot faster, not having to wait 2 full minutes. So basically what you have to do is drive with your walker to the edge of the oasis and drive into the sand clouds and then basically just stand still Press save logout and within 20 seconds you will have disconnected into safety. As simple as that. Yep. 
Is your base getting too heavy for your walker because you farm like crazy? I hope you haven't invested all that farm in more walkers to carry your farm because that would have been a total waste. Of course you don't want to be overweight and slow as a turtle when you encounter an enemy walker. That's why you should start using weightless modules on your walkers today, obviously the ones which you put your base inside of. Don't use the pack meal module, it's really really bad. It gives you an additional weight for your walker but it's honestly in my opinion not worth it. My base in total weighs around 8 to 9 tons and with weightless modules when I have packed it into my walker it only weighs 1.5 ton. Whereas if I used the same amount of pack mule modules I would have been 8 ton out of 10 ton which is nearly over the limit again. That's why it's not worth in my opinion to use the pack mule modules. Therefore, you should definitely start investing in weightless modules today. Building a last oasis is really not the most fun thing to do. It feels clunky and weird, things don't want to snap and placing things just feels weird in general. So this tip is stacking multiple boxes on top of each other to maximize space. This is also very tricky and hard to do. I would suggest going into first person when you are building or trying to stack boxes. So basically how this works, and this works best when you are using medium wood or reinforced wood. Basically you want to put your chest on the edge of the foundation perfectly in line. Then take a roof and tilt it at an angle. Then take your second medium chest and place it as close as possible above your first chest. When done correctly it allows you to place a third box on top of that and then you finish it off with the roof and then you have finished the mission of maximizing space in your base. This is really hard to do and you'll have to play a bit around with it since this is really hard to do but after a few tries and figuring out how building actually works in this game you'll get around it and you'll get the hang of it eventually. This is a quick but very useful tip for PvP. You can change your point of view by simply pressing plus or minus on your keyboard, which allows you to zoom in and out to your liking. Since first person is honestly very disgusting in Last Oasis, this is a way to get a closer point of view if you need it. How many times do I still see my clanmates farming cactus or wasting aloe vera to make water in a campfire? Yes, I understand if you do it if there is no alternative, but the fastest and most easiest way to make water is by far crushing corn in a stomping station. Each corn gives you 2 water, whereas 4 cactus gives you only 1 water in the campfire. This makes corn a lot more efficient way of making water. Also farming corn is very easy on hard maps. You can farm them in mass quantities with only using a sickle. Do you feel under leveled? Well that my friend is about to change for you. All you have to make is a stiletto or a toboggan walker and apply the foraging module to it. This module will allow you to harvest foliage such as fiber, corn, cattle by simply driving over it with your walker. Now the best way to gain XP and level like a madman is to go to the hard zone and look for the biggest pond on the hard zone. In that pond there will be thousands and thousands of cattails, simply drive over it and gain many levels in no time. I just want to add that all the farm goes to the cargo of the walker you are driving. But even when you are full and a message appears on the right side of your screen saying inventory is full, don't worry, just look at your XP bar and enjoy the ride. Well guys this was it for my top 10 tips and tricks for last oasis. If you enjoyed this video and learned something in this video please smash that like button. Also let me know in the comment section down below which tip was your favorite. Also if you could subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me. Thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.